Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn on how to calculate mean, standard deviation, and variance. If this is your first time, please do subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. In this Excel sheet, we do have some samples of data categorized under sample 1, sample 2, and sample 3. So I'm going to show it to you on how to calculate mean, standard deviation, and variance of the samples of data. So the first thing what we're going to do is we have to go to developer tab, click on developer. From the developer tab, we go to code. Under coding section, we have visual basic. Let's click on visual basic. So the visual basic application window showing up here. So what we are going to do is we have to click on insert. From the insert menu, we have to have module. Let's open the module. On top of this module, we have to have some procedure. Let's go to again, insert, click on procedure. This is very helpful because it enables us to define or write the name of the function. So the first function that we're gonna write in VBA code here is mean. So let's name it like C-A-L-M-E-N, calculate mean. So that I know this function is going to calculate the mean of these samples of data. Let's press OK. So let's write the code. Range, open parentheses, open quotation. Here, what we are supposed to write is the cell name. The cell name is where we are going to see the answer for the mean of the first samples of data. That cell reference is at C18. Because look in here, we have one column C and row number 18. So we're expecting to see the mean calculation for the first group of sample at C18. So we have to close the quotation, close the parenthesis, dot value equal application dot worksheet function dot average. Average means mean. Let's open parenthesis. This is for the range, range, and open another parenthesis. In here, we have to define the range of the values. So the range of values that we're going to calculate for the minutes in C column, row number 3 up to row number 17. So open quotation from C3 up to C17. Close the quotation. Close the parenthesis and close the second parenthesis. So let's save it. Let's save this as macro enabled all the time so that the VBA code can run. Here is the macro enabled option for us. Let's give it any name like VBA code one. So let's select desktop as a location. Let's save it. So to make sure this code is working properly or not, we have to run it and let's see. And we are expecting the answer for the first section, column of data in C18. Let's run it. There we go. We got the first section of data. So here, what we are going to do is, we have to write some comment, sample one. So in VBA, we can write comment by just typing apostrophe and the comment. So let's just copy this, paste here again, the third line, paste it here because we have three samples of data. So for the second sample, where we're gonna see the answer? We're gonna see the answer in D18. So we have to change the name of the cell, D18. And the third mean result where we're going to see is E18. E18. At the same time, we have to change the references. Instead of C3, D3 up to D7. That is the second samples of data. And for the third one, we have to write E3 up to E17. In a similar fashion, we can write the comment for this one, sample 2, so that we know that belongs to sample 2 coding. 
sample string. That's all. Now we have successfully coded the three lines of VBA functions. Now we're going to run it and see how the numbers populate here. Click on run. So it always asks the name to be the macro. So that's taking the default name Calmin. We're going to run it. Here we go. We have the three sections are completed now. Sample one, sample two, sample three. All the means are calculated. We're going to do again for standard deviation. The same way what we have to do is we go to insert procedure. Let's give the name uh, cal st standard deviation div. Okay. Let's write down the code range open quotation again c18 close the quotation dot value equal application dot worksheet function dot what is the name of the function standard deviation so we have to write like s uppercase t lowercase t uppercase ev that's the standard deviation open parentheses we have to specify the range again open another parentheses so from c3 to c17 close the quotation close the parentheses and close the second parentheses so let's save it and let's run and see so we're going to expect the result to be on c19 here we go this is c19 and the range is the same run it shows up standard deviation is successfully calculated so what we have to do is this is sample one sample one so we have to copy and paste the same codes except we have to change the cell reference so this should be sample two This is going to be sample three. So let's change the name. This is D19. This is going to be E19. Again, the range is going to be from D3 to D17, from E3 to E17. Let's save it and let's run. Here we go. The last but not the least, we're going to calculate the variance in the same fashion. Go to insert procedure, name the function, cal, that's var, that's variance. Okay. So we're going to just copy this because it's going to be the same thing. Paste. Let's copy these two data. So the first thing what we have to check is the cell where we're going to see the answer. For the variance, we have to see C20. So I have to change C20. C20. And the range is going to be the same the same samples of data from c3 to c17 and the second one is d20 the range is from d3 to d17 the same value the last is going to be on e20 again the sample is going to be the same from e3 to e17 All right, the last piece of information that we're going to change in this Excel VBA is the function name. Here, we have to change it to var again, var, var. Let's save it. 
in play. There we go. We were able to find the variance, standard deviation, and the mean for this set of data. This is all I have for today. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.